Hey, how you doing, everybody? You're seeing this on Monday, but it was actually shot on a Friday evening. Work is over, food prep is done, so it's time to mellow out and relax. And yes, I did get the beer at Stuart Leonard's, as usual. I'll explain why in a minute, but we got a different glass, got a beer mug this time instead of the Stella glass. I'm gonna get some other glasses as well, so we change it up and stuff. Um, I don't know if old Stuart Leonard's have it, but the Stuart Leonard that we go to actually has a section by, they have the big, you know, beer freezer there. They actually had uh, their own brew there, which maybe next time we get that and see what, how their stuff is. But anyway, they have a section with loose beers there. It's here at $1.99. I've, I've pretty went, went over this before, but anyway, never saw this over at that section before. It's an Abbott beer uh, brew company and a purple haze as you can see for all the Jimi Hendrix fans out there I know Jimi Hendrix a long time ago but y'all gotta listen to his music he's one of the best guitarists so you gotta get on that stuff all right check him out but before we get into that please Feel free to leave comments below my last video. We had some comments. I appreciate it. Hopefully you watch this one too. And hopefully you become a subscriber because you can always give that thumbs up to help the video get out to more people. And then you hit that subscribe. It helps support the channel. You hit that subscribe again. You get those two little marks above the bell. Let you know when the videos are coming out and it's absolutely free. So you can always do that for us. But before we get into the beer, I got a little bit of the veggie chips. That's the chips I happen to have this week. That was part of my food prep. So I had a little bit left over. Got the beer book as usual. And like I said, we got a new different glass. I'm going to try to get a few other glasses so we can uh, have some other stuff. I washed it up before I brought it over here for the beer tasting. Now, never had this before, never seen this before, never even seen the company before, actually. It's got a little sticker because we didn't bring the bags in. We left them in the car like everybody does. And we uh, just had them put the stickers. Well, they had to put the stickers on for us to let us leave with it. So we got Abbott Brewery Purple Haze, 4.2% alcohol by Valium, brewed and bottled by Abbott Beer Company, in Abbott Springs, Louisiana. Oh, there you go. That's why it's called Abbott. The sticker. I don't know if this sticker will come off. So I can. We can see some of the. Other stuff. All the little ingredients and all that. Fun stuff. And I don't think it's going to come off very well. Oh. Mm -mm. Uh, I can get it off enough to. So you know, if you want to pause the video, if you're interested in that. Now, what would be, would be cool is when we pour it up, it's actually purple. Being that it's purple haze. So, clouds of real raspberry swirl in this tart and tangy lager brew with pilsner and wheat malt along with hops. Let's scent of berries and... The Haze Purple Brewery takes you taste buds away. Harmonious journey inspired by the good vibes and free spirit of New Orleans. So it's kind of a New Orleans inspired beer. And we have the cap on top. It was, it was brewed with spring water. So if this comes pouring out purple, I'm going to be freaking psyched because that would be so freaking cool. Trying to not dent the cap that much so I can keep it. I'm not gonna keep a bottle, but the cap, all right. Put it aside with all the other caps. I gotta find some jar or something to put the caps in. Let me just. Mm. Nice smell to it. Well, let's see. I'm gonna get the pour going. Tilt the glass so I don't get much of a head on it. 
just a little bit. It's not purple. It's golden. It looked good though. Looks definitely good. Definitely good. So you can get a quick look around. I'm going to take a swig of it. Wow. It had a very like I do taste the strawberries though. I have to give it that. It kind of had like um a very strong beer taste, but it doesn't taste strong beer at all. I'm gonna just gonna take a couple of little veggie chips, kind of get the taste in my mouth, take another swig, write some stuff down, then you know we we'll talk about it a little bit, and then I'm gonna go finish this so we can uh, mellow out for the weekend, okay? Kind of a wind down at the end of the week, a little bit of something to uh, help us get in the spirit, okay? If I'm making a lot of noise chewing, I'm sorry, peoples. That is, I really like that. It's really, really good. It's got a strong beer smell to it, but not at all like such a strong taste. It's like really mellow. I mean, you taste it a little bit, but then it kind of goes away. But definitely, I'm just writing down a little bit of it in the book here. I really like that though. I have another one from the same company. It's a different flavor. We'll do that one next week, but I'm really excited to do it now. And I'm probably going to buy, uh, you know, a set of, um, or a six pack, I mean, set, a pack of this. Because this is really good. And this is what happened. Yeah. Origin is Louisiana, right? I guess flavored I guess I don't know if it's style but oh you got a little bit of the Abbott on there right there on the bottle too that's kind of cool oh my god it's had the stickers I'm gonna give it a dark gold color I'm really liking this and what was it? I said 4.2% alcohol. It really good though. Styles of lager. I give it kind of a sweet. I do taste a little bit of the sour. Uh, it, it's light. Let me have it in a bottle. And I am giving this five stars. I'm dead serious. I really, really like it. This one got the five stars right there. Definitely got the five stars. It's really good. I really like this. Just take another chip. So I can get one more good taste before we sign off. And then, of course, I'm going to finish it. I really like it. It's got, like, a really cool taste to it. Like, you kind of get the hint of the strawberry. 
it's not as strong at all of what it smells like. It's complete opposite. Like when you smell it, I thought, wow, it's going to be a, a kind of a harsh, strong beer with a little, like very hoppy. Not at all. The taste is extremely deceiving, I would say. I'm really digging that one. I'm really excited to try the other one. I'm not going to mention what it is because that's for next week. All right. So thank you guys so much for checking this out. I'm telling you, man, check out this purple haze. This stuff is good. And such a cool label. Kind of give that little uh, Jimi Hendrix vibe to it. I know that's what they're going for. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that, smash that. Don't hit it, smash that thumbs up, okay? Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy.